another day in the realm of crypto and this seems to be a good day bitcoin bouncing back about the twenty thousand dollar mark and all the other coins slowly moving higher now one thing you have to look at this is like bitcoin is about 3.9 percentage for the last 24 hours and all coins are moving much higher so this gives you that narrative bitcoin dominance is falling mm -hmm. that does actually mean that the all coins have room to run and based on history if this repeats that's going to be a massive rally on the way as over leveraged people over leveraged institutions are getting cleaned big guys long term guys are buying the dip they are taking in as much as possible loading the stuff why because they know big big corporations are building on this particular technology and they won't let this opportunity go away and if you look at the technical side of this it kind of gives you that idea yes we are going higher the only question most of us have is like how high we can go based on target market of each particular asset because not every asset has the same target market not every asset is created the same fine now the bad actors some of them are getting wiped out some of them are reducing their leverage now this is one of the best example in the market right now was trying to come back and stay afloat in the market so let's actually see like when the world is at the bad end right now we are having a lot of issues in the world if you are in this asset class you have a chance to create wealth because money is flowing in this direction and no one will deny that fact and if you're standing in that way you have the ability to make money you can make money the only question is will you do it because a lot of people ask this question can i do it it's not the question will you do it is the actual question welcome to the scientific investor family where we discuss crypto and science behind investing regularly as we've been discussing through you know a lot of people had doubts regarding the supply of xrp with the 100 billion supply can we really reach higher prices now based on the history and looking at the dominance the price and all the indicators and taking in all the data points you get that information cleared up here then people ask like okay how much xrp should i have now this is actually for next couple of years not for next five ten years because next five ten years your market is changing the target market is changing you need to understand that the cross-border payments is currently around 200 trillion dollars per year that's actually a huge market and if you are saying okay some of these altcoins mm -hmm, are actually going to hit that target market and take 10 percentage take five five percentage of the market share they are going sky high now that's not happening in a day or a month it's gonna take three to five years or ten years to reach that potential but that's not a small number you put that in the perspective the max kind of even if you say xrp or xrp ledger gets 25 percentage of the market share that's a big number in thousands i'll actually break that down and come with that for the next video but here you need to look at the history the history is kind of rhyming itself and that kind of you know gives you that positive vibe wow if this is forming here and you're bouncing from the support that's actually a great thing because your support happens to be close to your last all-time highs now when people actually ask me like okay the all-time highs has been breached you went even lower i'm like yes that's um, you know how this stuff happens you never get the exact point which you want to because the markets are always different but it rhymes i'm not saying it's the same but if you look here you broke below that mm -hmm. you went above then you came below that so if you even look at the next level of support you didn't reach there you reached somewhere close to that so right now if you come back here and ask your next level of support which is here you didn't reach there but you came close right now that is where if we bounce right now to test the 50 day moving average for the altcoin market cap that's going to be bullish which takes the rsi back above this trend line and that's the bullish stuff which you and me are waiting in the market now why am i taking you there because 
Bitcoin dominance is suggesting ye that it has a huge possibility that it may drop to the downside. Now, why that is a possibility? Because right now, you see money coming back into the market and you're going to look at the daily volume and you're looking at the volume. Fine, you see Tether, they, then Bitcoin, Ether. And right now, the volume of Bitcoin is nowhere near where it used to be. Now, it's the same for all the other altcoins as well. But as the money movement is shifting, more and more money is going into utility packed assets. If you look at XRP volume compared to yesterday, it's already 50 percentage up. Now, look at the buy and sell volume. That's a lot in difference. So if you are considering what the market is showing you right now, that literally shows you like 20 percentage of buyers are they extra considering the sellers. That it's not actually a small stuff because you're comparing a lot of different assets here and you can literally say like the market is slowly coming back up now what that means here is now <clears throat> more people will actually give you ideas and concepts which may confuse you so look at this tether the volume is 3 billion buy 2.5 billion sell fine a lot of people are moving into tether that's what others will say but ask this question, is it just people moving out of the asset to the stable coin or is it new money coming into the stable coin getting positioned to enter into this asset class? For me, it feels like that. Why? The volume we have right now is no way close to what we had with the recent pumps. Fine. So right now when the volume is increasing, it's not the money from the crypto market moving into stablecoin it is actually new money coming in to the stablecoin and moving out if you look at this you will clearly understand what i'm trying to illustrate now getting back to this particular point you know there's a lot of people who are heavily leveraged there's a lot of institution who went so aggressive when the market was at all-time highs which is something you try to always avoid now, if you are there for the next five years, next 10 years, and you are a little bit leveraged, that still is risky and you need to maintain that. And these people who are working on these stuff, they are there and they have a, you know, a corporate umbrella backing to do this stuff even during a bear market. Even if we go two, three years bear, they can still do this. And they will try to improve this on a regular basis for sure. Now, as you're observing that big guys are loading up and right now the price is hitting lower end people have higher emotions but big guys are loading up big guys are loading up so if they think that the price of xrp of bitcoin in this case is going to drop another 50 percentage i don't think they're gonna buy another huge chunk here because it's not the small buys happening it's the aggressive buy happening so if you are looking at how stuff is changing right now, you actually get that narrative. Okay, mm, I kind of understand this. And if the market is already kicking out bad guys and the others are trying to stay afloat by reducing their leverage, now they are deleveraging. That's actually fine. You get more space. And, you know, Bitcoin may not actually go to 5,000 to kick them out. I really don't think so. In that case, okay, Celsius is going to survive and that's not an easy task and the leaders have done proper stuff maintaining whatever they can for their customers in this particular case right so now actually let's look at the charts and see like okay what does the charts bring us so this is an xrp chart on a daily so here you can observe that the price is making a lower low whereas the rsi is slowly starting to trend back up now, you get that same dynamics playing out on a three-day chart as well. But you are trying to now go back up and break the resistance here in the RSI. So now, coming back to that daily chart, you need to come back to test the 50-day moving average along with your resistance trend line. Now, if you're testing that, that itself is a pump for XRP. You are moving 10, 20% a day or a couple of days you reach there and slowly try to break that one now if we manage to break that 
Now, the good news here is if you are breaking that, then you have room to the upside to run. So when you actually zoom out and look at this, okay, 0.5 to 0.6 is a good range for you to target as we move higher. Now, if you are a buyer for this particular asset, then you are looking at the Bitcoin dominance and seeing how is this evolving? Because based on history, we know that each time when Bitcoin dominance drops, the market actually takes you to that area where Bitcoin is moving up slowly a little bit. But the altcoin market, it's going crazy. Now you can just go look at these time frames and look at the history, how altcoins moved, especially how XRP moved, because that's important. The first move here, the Bitcoin dominance drop and the altcoin market pump, XRP didn't even participate much. Whereas the second one is where XRP did wonderful stuff. Now, if you are looking at the time frame, you can say like, okay, within this one, you have one, two, and then three. So by the time you completed the first one, XRP was slow. And then you started doing the big one. Followed by that, you had a correction. XRP corrected around six, seven months. But it didn't actually pull back like this. It had a pullback like this one here. Stayed flat and then went up higher on this leg. So as you look at this, you are now having that clear idea that fine, you actually will be watching the altcoins move higher. So as the altcoins start to move higher, you will have a lot of altcoins in your portfolio, fine. And if you do, now we are actually looking at the daily volume for that particular asset. Mm -hmm. And then look at what is the liquidity. Because if the liquidity shows you like, you know, there's a ton of selling pressure there, that may not be the right asset to be in at that position. And if you're observing the buyers are increasing substantially over the next four hours, 10 hours, 12 hours, that with the price action, will give you the idea whether it is going to become a big buy opportunity. So if you're actually going on to an XRP chart, say let's go to an XRP chart, which is four hour chart of XRP. Now, if you actually zoom in on four hour chart or even 12 hour, you actually get a little bit more detail. So right now here in the four hour chart, what we are looking at is that the price is going to test the 50 day moving average, or in fact, it is testing the 50 day moving average. If you break that particular range here, so this is your 50 day moving average. And if you are able to break that, you go higher to test this range, which is the 200 day moving average on a four hour chart. So that comes close to 0.35. Now this is a four hour chart. You are not looking for 100 percentage moves here. You are looking to see how the market can respond to the existing levels, fine? Because you do have resistance trending like this so you need to actually go through your moving averages and then break now if you're trading on a higher time frame time frame a little bit higher which is this one at 12 hour now you are actually going to test your 50 day moving average here and once you break that one you have room why because your 200 day moving average is all the way up at 0.5 <coughs> so to you considering that it's more like okay you now have two divergence there's a 12 hour chart. You got the price making lower low here with a different angle. And then the RSI making a higher low. Now, if you want to actually be precise, you can go to a trend angle mm -hmm, and then take this. You can actually see like, okay, the price actually made negative 12 degrees. Mm -hmm, and at the same time, the RSI went up two percentage. So that's two degrees to the upside. Fine. Now you're looking at the price. The price kind of stayed some ways at the bottom, that's zero. And at the same time, the RSI moved even higher. So the momentum for the RSI or the strength increased, which possibly means you may break this 50 day moving average. You may break this resistance and go test this 200 day moving average. Remember that 200 day moving average is acting as a resistance on your daily here the previous support level so that will definitely add on a little bit more pressure as you go back higher to test that now i won't say 0.52 i would actually go look at this one first and say like okay 0 0.53 0 0.55 that's the area where you're going to get a lot of resistance but from 0.5 to 0.58 
you are trading there can be a lot of volatility fine now you actually take this all out and you're like okay fine that's forever that's daily now if i'm a little bit medium to long term trader what should i be looking at now it's just starting here right the divergence here is just starting you just got four percentage uh, four uh, degrees to the upside in the price uh, in the rsi when the price is showing you negative 30. Now that means you need substantial change here with an increase or a breakout here now the macd is supportive it's already crossing to the upside you need to actually come back to the positive territory but that's actually a bullish step because in this market if you are going to look at any different asset say if you are looking at the market cap based item which is not accurate you're like okay fine xrp and cardano is kind of similar with the uh, market cap right now so you are looking at cardano fine let's actually look at cardano on a three-day chart and then go on to a daily chart of the same to see like okay what really is happening there fine the price is at a support which we discussed before in patreon now if you happen to actually do this the price got rejected from there you came back now if you are bouncing from there you get a divergence because the price is staying here without much of a movement say zero and the rsi from that point is actually moving higher and right now you have comparatively higher trend angle of a nine percentage nine degrees now why am i saying percentage again again that's my mistake huh? leave that now if you are considering that on a three-day chart for cardano and you are like okay fine you do see trend line supports coming in where the price is getting supported which happens to be a descending broadening wedge which is a bullish pattern now you would be looking at this level so here for cardano it do have room to run to hit a major level of resistance so you are looking somewhere close to 0 0.75 0 0.78 that range if the big coins here or the large cap coins are running like that 10 20 30 percentage in next one week that is going to shift the narrative more and more money is going to come into the market in a way that there would be some coins taking off blasting through you have the breakouts happening every way now if you been following us you already know some of these assets are actually breaking out of their trend line and you know we've been following that for a couple of days and as we look at the say celsius 32 percentage gain cosmos 13 percentage gain crv 16 percentage gain we've been following this and some of these were in our patreon the calls were there and we were highlighting okay this just broke higher as we thought this is going towards our target you know all those updates are coming there on a regular basis if you are here in this market and trying to take benefit of this upcoming run higher and you have a lot of different assets or you are willing to go through some assets five to ten assets to make this market and may take the most out of it you have a lot of different assets here in next hundred when we are looking at the top five we have another breakout call which is running perfectly fine right now and i'm like okay give it another week you're gonna hit all the targets so you need to know where it's going to break out you need to know what's your measured move and where to take profit because often the measured move is not the best place to take the profit because the algorithms actually you know there's a lot of manipulation in the market so that comes into play and you need to maintain that level understanding okay there's someone else at the other end who's trying to take that profit so if you are trading you need to take profit a little bit before that that's the general concept and if you want to take that ideology and play inside your portfolio you can look at the patreon the link is given in the description below where we go through a ton of assets we just showing you this one july 3rd that's like a couple of days back dydx nearing a breakout so now you go look at that and it's already breaking higher it's moving higher close to 30 percentage in last week but the actual fluctuation happened after our call so you have a lot of assets doing this and when the macro is changing you have opportunity you have patience i repeat if you have patience you can look at the patreon because that's going to give you educated charts where you are now having the understanding of what's happening and what may happen to take yeah that one and use it because unless you know something you can't use it so you have to learn one and then you have to execute because me sending charts breakout calls with targets 
doesn't make you profit. You have to execute it. So if you have that cognitive ability and if you are ready to go through, hit it, then jump on there. Otherwise, nah. You, learning TA will be the best stuff for you. Now, in general, the market is shifting. Now, for you to say the market is completely moving bullish, you may need to break $23,000, $24,000 Bitcoin. One, and all coins getting another 50 percentage run from here. So for XRP, it will still be somewhere close to 0.45 to 0.5. If we break that, the trend has changed. But on the macro side of this, you need to understand, we've talked about this before. XRP broke below a major trend line. No one can actually neglect that. I think even in the XRP community, no one will do that. But if you are breaking about this, which is 0.37, that is erased and it's just like, okay, there was a down period and it was like kicking a lot of highly leveraged guys out. But that's it. Now we are coming back if you do that move. So we are waiting for that move and as the market brings that momentum and we rush through the 0.8 to $1, $2 mark, take your profits. You are trading, take your profits. Because a lot of people did not do that here. And I want you guys to do as we go higher and hit certain targets. So guys, if you learned something new from this video, please do hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't done that already. And if you want to get further updates, please do hit that bell icon too. And then go look at the Patreon. If you want to make the most out of this upcoming bull run, if that happens in the next two or three months, you don't want to miss that. You don't really want to say, I would have taken the chance instead I regret now. So it's a complete option for you. That's it, guys. I'll meet you on the next video. Bye for now.